Welcome to the installation, commissioning, and operation guide for the YCV763 in miniature circuit breaker. Before getting started, be sure to turn off the power supply and wear insulated gloves and protective goggles. We'll need the following tools, wire strippers, crimping pliers, wires that meet the required specifications, terminals, an electric screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, and a multimeter. Before starting, take a moment to read the user manual. This helps you confirm the breaker specs match your system and lets you pick the right place to install it. Installation tip. Hook the upper part of the protector onto the rail. Use a screwdriver to release the lower latch. Press the lower part onto the rail, then restore the latch to ensure it is in place. To remove the circuit breaker, use a screwdriver to release the lower latch. Lift the lower part of the breaker off the rail and then remove it upward. Next is wiring. Start by selecting the right wire size based on the breaker's rated current. Use a wire stripper to carefully remove 11 to 13 millimeters of insulation. This gives you the right length of exposed conductor. Then, crimp the terminal tightly using crimping pliers. Give it a light pull to check it's secure. After that, use an electric screwdriver with a preset torque setting to tighten the terminal screws. This ensures a safe and stable connection, depending on your installation needs. You may choose either top or bottom wiring to improve flexibility. When wiring the YCB763N into the distribution box, strictly follow the electrical wiring diagram to ensure all connections are accurate and secure. Make sure to comply with local electrical codes and safety standards throughout the process. Before powering on, check that the breaker handle operates smoothly and without obstruction. Once powered on, Use a multimeter to test circuit continuity and confirm the breaker is functioning correctly. When the breaker is open, the voltage between the incoming line and the neutral is around 230 volts, while the voltage at the outgoing side is below 20 volts. When the breaker is closed, the outgoing side voltage rises to about 230 volts. Opening the breaker again will drop the voltage back below 20 volts. If you run into any problems, check the troubleshooting guide. It covers common issues like the breaker not switching on or tripping too often and offers tips on how to fix them. For more information, visit console.com or get in touch with us on social media.